Hey, so surveys are super important when you buy or sell real estate, but did you know they're also equally as important when you're doing a remodel, an addition, or even putting up a fence? We'll talk about that next. Hey, so there's a real common question I get in Hawaii and it's what's the difference between a staking and a survey and we're gonna dive right into it so a K2 survey in real estate lingo is a full-blown map of your property and any improvements on that property whether it be a shed a fence uh, the house itself the survey will show any encroachments upon the property now what is an encroachment an encroachment is anything on your property that encroaches too far or too close to a certain line on your property called a setback so every property in Hawaii has setbacks you have front setbacks you have side setbacks and if someone builds something too far into those setbacks it's technically a violation so so the average person I would think would want to know about those things before they actually close on the property now a surveyor will actually go out and before they do the survey they'll take the title report of that property and they'll look for any easements affecting that property they could be water line easements they could be drainage easements they could be access easements these are things that you're really going to want to know not only that they're on your title report but where exactly they are located on your lot super important so the the other half of the survey is a staking so you could do a staking instead of a full-blown survey they cost generally about half as much but you don't get a full-blown comprehensive map of your property and improvements upon it literally all the surveyor is gonna go out and do and stake the four corners of your property and you get a, a certified letter saying that that was done now for vacant land with no improvements upon it that is usually sufficient and uh, uh, a survey is it should be a requirement for real estate transactions now I'm not talking about condos here just land and single-family homes now contrary to what you might have heard or believe lenders do not require a survey of a property in a purchase transaction and, and another question I get is doesn't the county keep track or have on file a survey of the property that was done prior the answer is absolutely not <laughs> this is Hawaii so so in California they might do it but they don't have a robust database like that here in Hawaii the only time the county might have something like that on file or the title company might have something like that on file is if there was a variance that an owner went and obtained or a rock wall agreement but those two items are whole different topics a whole different video and a whole different can of worms so I hope you found this helpful please subscribe Samuel Schaus here Keller Williams Realty please subscribe down below and you'll see more of me thanks